Hello, I'm Blake. Welcome to ViewSonic. Established in 1990, we are headquartered in Brea, California, allowing us to provide top-notch solutions in a timely fashion. With distribution centers in California and Illinois, we can get product on demand to meet your needs. Now let's take a peek at some of our award-winning solutions. A monitor in the admin office, commercial displays to provide announcements throughout campus, interactive touch monitors for your teachers and coaches, replacing projectors, maybe you're looking at adding an eSports team. And don't forget about our award-winning touch panels that we call view boards, as displayed right here. As we dig deeper into our view boards, understand that the hardware is adaptable to your environment. With the ability to attach Chrome boxes and Windows slot in PCs directly to the view board, users find it beneficial to use this setup for direct instruction as well as small groups, while freeing up their district issued device for student privacy measures. Built in casting, manageability from remote location, and its durability are just a few of the points as to why we are the top choice in schools. You may be in a virtual, hybrid, or a traditional learning environment. Just know that our MyViewBoard ecosystem and its software is a tool that teachers and students have adopted throughout these trying times in education. With an interactive panel, you of course expect to be able to whiteboard. The panel does come with a whiteboarding program. It's built for Android. It can also be installed on Chrome devices. We also have a Windows version and a web-based version. When you open Whiteboard, you'll notice that there's a single sign-on window. This allows you to single sign-on with Google, Office 365, or Apple. You can also use the My View Board Companion app, which is an app available for Android or iOS to be able to scan the QR code and instantly sign into your account. Now that we're signed in, we can import our content from our cloud storage. So I'll go to the magic box, and you'll notice here that I have OneDrive and Google Drive both connected. I'm going to go into the folder where I contain my lessons. Since I'm browsing my Google Drive, I can import Google Docs and Google Slides directly. Once imported, I can now navigate all the different pages and annotate over the top. I can also bring in YouTube videos or other types of media to make the lesson more interesting. I've added content. I can obviously save it as a teacher version using file management, which allows me to save it directly back to my cloud storage. So again, whether you're using OneDrive, Google Drive, even Dropbox, or if I need to share this with kids, I can use the one-click QR share. What this does is it takes the file, puts it in my cloud storage, converts it to a PDF, automatically creates a share link, and then allows me to share that link with my students, or if they have QR code scanners, they can just scan the QR code here and go. So I get a lot of questions about uh, best practices, best setup for hybrid learning. So I actually have my Windows laptop connected to my panel uh, this is what I normally teach from, so I want my more powerful computer connected to the panel. I have Zoom ready to go, but I'm not going to host my meeting from the panel. I'm actually going to use a second device to monitor my meeting. It doesn't need to be a very powerful device. So over here, I have my Chromebook, uh, and I have Zoom ready to go. So I'm actually going to start the meeting here on my Chromebook. And then once this meeting is started, I'm going to go ahead and join this meeting. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in my meeting ID. Now that I have my meeting ID typed in, I'm just going to go ahead and join. You'll see here that I don't need to join with a microphone or anything because I'm going to be using my Chromebook again to monitor the meeting. That's where all my audio is going to be going through. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. And if we come back down to my Chromebook, you'll see now that I'm in the meeting, but so is another participant called panel. This is just my computer up here. So now when I'm ready to teach, when I have my students in the Zoom meeting, I go ahead and share my screen. 
Now I'm gonna share the entire screen here, and I'm also gonna do this important piece here, which is share the computer sound. If I'm gonna play like a video or something like that, or go to a website that has audio, it's important that I do that so that everybody at home can hear uh, what we hear in the classroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit share. And now my entire screen's being shared and I can pull up my website or whatever instructional material I need to teach with, or of course my personal favorite, my Viewboard Whiteboard. One of the benefits of having a second device, and again, it doesn't need to be a very powerful one, is I can see what my kids at home see. So uh, I can see a preview, so to speak, of what's happening and that's really important because if I think uh, that the kids in class should be seeing something because we all see it here on the board, I also want to be able to quickly glance over and notice if uh, the same thing that's being displayed on the board is also being displayed for my students at home. Of course I can do other things like monitor the chat or if students have their video turned on, I can monitor them as well from there. It's a pretty easy setup and all I'm doing is just joining the meeting from two devices the panel, which is my teaching device, and I'm hosting the meeting on my other device, such as a Chromebook. Another cool program that comes installed on the Embedded Player is Device Manager, which, as you guess, allows you to manage the device remotely. To enroll a device, all you have to do is expand the app menu, find Manager, which is right here, and then scan the QR code with your companion app, or you can manually type in the code. What this does is it enrolls the board into your entity console, which can be accessed through myviewboard.com. From the console, you can do all sorts of things like power off the device, restart it, switch inputs, or do firmware updates. You can also do messages like this one that just popped up to send communication out to all your panels. You can do one at a time or do groups of panels all at once. The teacher can dismiss the notification and then continue their work. No matter what is displayed on the board, the notification will show up, even if it's a remote connected device. Earlier I mentioned there were some additional programs that come installed on the embedded player. Remember, embedded meaning use the panel by itself. One of those is called display. And what display does is it allows you to wirelessly cast your device to the panel without being on the same network as the panel. This is really helpful for guests who can't be on the same Wi-Fi. Uh, as your staff or students who also can't be on the same Wi-Fi as your staff. So let's take our laptop and connect really quickly. I just go to myviewboard.com slash display, which you can see here. You also see there's a display code that's unique to the board. And then this one-time password that constantly refreshes just to make sure that no one can randomly cast to the panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that code there. And then on my computer, click the present button. It's gonna let me choose what screen I wanna share on my device, including the device audio. When I hit the share button, it'll start mirroring and I can simply switch to the tab that I wanna be able to present. Thanks so much for taking time today to learn about ViewSonic and ViewBoard. Don't forget that we offer on-site as well as virtual professional development to make sure that you get the most out of your purchase. It's really one of our passions to make sure that all teachers use these to their fullest capacity. We don't want to see them being used as projectors or chalkboards. Also, we have our online certification program, which is a great way for teachers to self-pace themselves through the products. Thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful day.